Okay, good morning. Today is Sunday. Um, we're actually going to do something a little special. I'm going to take, um, me and my assistant coaches are going to take each other through a workout and we're going to mic up. Fingers crossed the mics work. It's so loud in the gym though, like it might just pick up just the stuff going on in the gym. So we'll see about that. But we're going to do that. You'll get to meet both of my assistant coaches um, now. And then um, I have like a bunch of work to do. I'll take you through a week in my life because I keep trying and I keep forgetting to film so I'm gonna for sure do it this week starting today so I got up today had breakfast um set like my to-do list and everything it's Sunday so like this is my day to like prepare and then we're gonna go work out and then I have some content to write and um, I actually don't need a grocery shop because I already have all that and then we're gonna start the week so this will be good I'm excited for this hold on let's see and this is the fit don't mind I haven't made my bed um we've got a new hat and then also a new hoodie i'm doing a giveaway and i'm gonna give um well you can't see the back because i can't turn i'm gonna give away one of these bad boys one of these hoodies to somebody um random that i pick so that's what we're gonna do today it'll be a good leg day and then we will go from there is it going yeah hey guys it's us <laughs> we didn't Not intro holiday. um I always say okay. Hey guys, it's the ladies of Project Shrink. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we're taking pre. I no, don't know. No, no, start it over. I'll just cut okay. it. Hi guys. Today we're going to be taking pre workout. Yeah, scoop me. Oh. <laughs> um, today we're taking One Up Nutrition's Miami Vice. Use code Peyton for 20% off. Okay, I'm not taking a full scoop because I don't ever take pre-workout and I just like really don't want to throw up today. For some reason, for me, did you put a tiny bit of water in? Yeah. For me, pre-workout like makes me sometimes nauseous depending. So I gotta be a little bit careful. But I'll do a taste test live. I know. <laughs> This, I hope this gets me a pump. Oh, the hat is really an issue right now. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> Code Peyton at checkout. I'm kidding. No. Okay, baby, I'm not. <laughs> okay. If it smells like in and out, I'm sorry. I had it yesterday. <laughs> You know what I had yesterday, guys? Um, wow, I'm trying to play with the brightness. I had McDonald's <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> that is unheard of for me, but guess what? I also dropped a pound, so you can eat McDonald's and lose weight. Their breakfast is awesome. The macros on an Egg McMuffin, pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I think I need glasses. Do some... What are these called? Some of those. Cross sex spots? Is that what they're called? I think they're I side think, lunges. I huh? do them in a deep workout. side lunges. Okay. There you go. Oh, I love this. This feels so lovely. It has my hands Yeah. Ew. A spell. deep squat into. Oh. Are you listening? I'm gonna do a deep squat into a hamstring stretch. I don't know if you can see my butt in a second. Okay. Oh, ow. Okay. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> that was so close. It is so close, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Oksana. We're just gonna walk you guys through a pretty gnarly leg day. Um, what we have right now is hip thrusts. We're going to hold at the top for two seconds and then a negative set of 44 seconds. 40 seconds? Yes, ma'am. Wait, we're holding like it that. at the top for four yeah, seconds? So hold, hold it for two, for two and then and lower. Then lower. Okay. Let's do that.
Perfect. Okay. We are rolling. Let's see. Now we got Montana and she's going to do, okay, I can't do it. She's going to do her weight and um, Montana wrote this program. So we'll see how she, how she likes the program after she completes it. Feet look huge from this angle. <laughs> Um, these are really hard right now because I feel like recently I've just been going through the motions. I haven't actually like stopped and slowed down in any of my lifts. So this feels really nice, but it's really freaking hard. Thanks, Montana. <laughs> and I think that goes along with life too. Slow down, be present, be intentional with it. Have you seen the dude that just ice baths on TikTok? No. He like hops in the ice bath and then just starts like giving like motivational like talks that was that was like you right now well you started talking and i was like oh my god i feel called Wait. out because she kept looking at me well because you just did a caption called I know. slow down you're <laughs> all you slow down all right that was good Okay, what we are doing here is going to be a dumbbell RDL. These are a staple for that glute ham tie-in, but we're gonna go ahead and do three sets of 10 of these bad boys. Essentially, I'll do some cues as she goes through it, but you are wiping your shins with some dumbbells, keeping your back flat, your chin tucked, and you're, it's almost like you're shutting a car door with your glutes. I picture the bend and snap whenever I do this one. Yeah. Like, I have it here. Mm. For me, I feel mm. my hamstrings, but when I'm here. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I still have to pee, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, it's doing a lot. I know, scary. that's why that's why I was all up in the like, I was all hello. <laughs> okay, we're doing a leg press right here, an angled leg press. We're gonna do high and narrow to hit more glutes and hamstrings so we can really get that stretch in there. Gross. Does he have really wide feet? I don't know, I don't like his feet that often, but look at your calves. My calves? Yeah. Really? No, I've been so self-conscious. No, every you know I actually post a lot of workouts and I'm always like, wow, your calves look so nice. So maybe I'll just start commenting that when I think so because I do think you have nice calves. I, that's so no, look at that. Maybe they're right there. Yeah, look at those. Look at those calves. We're doing good mornings. It's similar to an RDL. Your it's glute focus and hamstring focus. So you are thinking about pushing a car door shut with your butt and driving through the doors with your English not really my forte it's my first language so i'm gonna figure it out what did you post on your account and it was <laughs> that was great <sighs> was i in that uh yeah you're over yeah. on the side her her that was really hard guys that's why i say it i keep saying per and i'm like why am i speaking one of my clients this? anytime i say per she goes woof <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I can't. Okay, what we are doing here. Am I in the way? <laughs> um, what we are doing here is we are getting some kickbacks. So we're going to do a couple different things. We are going to do a regular glute kickback. So she's kicking straight back, keeping her hips square in front of her. Wow, there's so much noise right now. Um, and she's squeezing her butt cheeks. And then she's going to do a cable abduction. So that is going directly to the side. She's going to be hitting her abductors um, like so. Okay, hi guys. I have some updates. So I'm at the gym right now. This is my home gym. This is where I actually first started being a in-person trainer on my own when I started my own business. Now I don't train here um, in person at all, but my sister does under me. 
Um, I just lifted and I got some content and I talked to my coach today and I'm really excited. I was waiting for his like go ahead to start prep for 2024. We're gonna start in January. Um, I'm so fucking excited. I have been thinking about this so much and like I feel like a piece of me has been missing. I completely detached myself from competing for the past year to build my business and to serve my clients but I realized I didn't need to do that and I actually feel like I lost a little bit of like my spark because I lost something that I'm really passionate about in order to my business. Granted, I got where I wanted to be, and now I'm going to do both, and I'm really excited for it. Um, so we're going to start prep January. So leading, this will probably be the last vlog that I am not in prep for. Um, I am going to hopefully compete in June to regionally qualify and then hit the national shows and get that freaking pro card. It, I'm so close, I can taste it. So um, I'm really excited for that. The show that we have picked out is actually on my birthday. So my 25th birthday, what I want for my birthday is the overall, that is my goal. Um, and like right now, I just really need to dial in. I've been struggling a little bit with my appetite and with food recently. Um, my relationship with food has gotten a lot better, but I will say the past year, I've gone through a lot of ego debts and like just experienced a lot of growth because like I did gain weight on purpose. I did kind of detach from thinking I was ever gonna compete again. Um, and it's easy to demonize this sport, I will say that. Like, you get to your smallest self and you're judged on your appearance and then you have to gain weight to get healthy again. Um, and it's easy to demonize the sport and like be like, oh, that's why I had an eating disorder. No, that's not why I had an eating disorder. I had an eating disorder because I had issues beforehand that amplified it and I didn't know how to do the aftercare um, on my own. And now I do. So it's still freaking hard. I will say, prep is easier than the reverse diet for me. Um, but I'm really excited to show you guys like this is this is the one I can feel it and I've always wanted to doc like to document like I'm going to so I'm really excited to take you through this um I'll take you through like probably one more week in my life maybe I'll yeah I'll probably take you through one more week in my life we'll see I really plan to like start editing more often um especially since I won't be able to do as many social things since I will be like in prep mode <laughs> but I'll take you through like what it, what it is that I do. And now I'm gonna take you through how I balance owning a business and competing. Fortunately, they go pretty well together because they're both fitness related, but it's still pretty hard. Um, and also like I plan on not stopping life to compete because like I've done that before and it's miserable. So like I'm still gonna go out with friends, but I'm not gonna drink or I'm not gonna eat. I'm just gonna be mindful and enjoy the memories above everything else. Um, I'm still gonna go like, if I get the opportunity to travel, I know I can do it. I've done it before. I've traveled to San Diego on prep. I've traveled to Mexico on prep and I stay on point. So I'll show you how I do all of it. I'm excited to see you like, to, for you to see me overcome a lot of this. And I'm gonna share my thoughts and my feelings and everything because I think that people glamorize it and they don't realize how like nitty gritty you gotta get. You have to dig deep with this sport and you learn a lot about yourself and you become very self-aware. So I'll take you through a lot of it because it does get lonely and I'll just kind of like bring up my thoughts and emotions as well. But happy, today is Wednesday, December 13th and we will be starting prep in less than a month. I can't fucking wait.